Hello again everyone, welcome to Daily Downshift. My name is Orist and today I will be chatting about the two cars the Corvette C8 was pegged against. These are the Ferrari 458 and the McLaren 720S. And this information comes straight to us from the Corvette C8 specialist who we saw in New York. That being said, let me begin with a brief synopsis of the Corvette specs. It's a 6.2 liter V8, it's rear-wheel drive, and the non-Z51 package comes with 490 horsepower. Your 0-60 to 60 time on that is 3 seconds, but if you get the Z51 package, it ups it to 495 horsepower, and your 0-60 to 60 time is reduced to 2.9 seconds. The revs are up to 6,450 RPMs, and the price for all this is $59,995. Most importantly though, it's a mid-engine just like the other two vehicles that I'm going to be talking about. So let's cover the Ferrari 458. Let me begin with the fact that it's an F1 inspired engine and transmission, so yes, it's incredibly good. It's a 4.5 liter V8 and this one is naturally aspirated. It has 562 horsepower, 398 pound-feet of torque. The 0 to 60 is 3.4 seconds. It's a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox, and note that this was the first mainstream Ferrari which did not offer a manual option. So, to continue, the top speed is over 202 miles per hour, which, for our Canadian friends, is 325 kilometers an hour, and it revs to 9,000 RPMs. Now, to throw some random specs at you, this car was produced between 2009 and 2015. Carbon ceramic brakes come standard, which they don't on the C8. The braking distance from 60 to 0, that's miles per hour, is 107 feet, which sounds pretty impressive to me. And from preliminary testing, the Corvette C8 has a stopping distance of 115 feet. However, the Z51 package, it comes down to 108 feet, and that's because you get the bigger brake disc. To be honest though, like I said, this is preliminary testing, and this is just what they're reporting. Maybe if Chevrolet actually calls us, we can put this to the test. So let me continue. It has a 20 inch staggered rim setup while the C8 has a 19 in the front and 20 in the rear but this is also a staggered setup. The stock audio system on the Ferrari apparently comes with 6 speakers with an optional 11 speaker JBL upgrade which some Ferrari owners have noted doesn't even sound that good. The C8 by comparison comes with the Bose 10 speaker stock but you can upgrade this to the 14 speaker Bose system. The interior of the 458 is absolutely beautiful and it's incredibly ergonomic. Whether you agree or not with putting the turn signals on the steering wheel is one thing, but I think it's one of the most unique aspects about the car. However, the interior is a little bit dated now, especially because the 488 Ferrari is pretty much using the exact same layout, but I still think it looks phenomenal. So what is the cost for all this unique beauty? Well, the 2015 458, which was the last model year produced, came in at $239,340. Yeah, that's definitely not cheap. Now, the McLaren 720S. This one is a 4 liter V8 and it is not naturally aspirated. It's a twin turbo, hence why it puts out a massive 710 horsepower. It's 568 pound feet of torque. The 0 to 60 is 2.8 seconds, which is blisteringly fast. But there is footage of a stock one doing it in 2.39 seconds with different tires. Yes, you heard that correctly 2.39 seconds. So, to continue, it has a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, the top speed is 212 miles per hour. Again, for our Canadian friends, that's 341 kilometers an hour, and it revs up to 7,250 RPMs. Some random facts about this car, it has twin-hinged dihedral doors. To put it in layman's terms, those are doors that go up. And as cool as they look on the McLaren, I don't think they would work on the C8, especially at that price point. The braking distance from 62 miles an hour to zero is 98 feet, which is some insanely good brake pads and rotors for sure. However, the 720S, like the 458, comes standard with carbon ceramic brakes, and that's why you have such good stopping distance. So this feature I think is really cool, but it's a bit of a novelty. The 720S comes with a folding driver display, and what is that? So in case you don't want a big screen in front of you distracting you when you're racing, you can just fold it down to a smaller display so that you can see only the necessary information. In summary, I think the McLaren is one of the coolest looking cars money can buy right now, but it does come in at $287,245. Not bad, right? That being said, the Ferrari and the McLaren are a quarter million dollars. The options on either of these cars will most likely cost as much if not more than a Corvette C8 and probably with the Z51 package. 
So the fact that the C8 is pegged against these two and has comparable specs is actually quite unbelievable. Chevrolet was not scared to go against the big boys with a much more affordable price tag and this is very praiseworthy. Kudos to them. I'm really excited to drive one of these when they're out and Chevrolet, if you're listening, give us a shout. We're more than happy to drive one for you guys anytime. Anyways, that's all from me. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.